Hi, it's James here. Just making a quick video on how to connect HassIO via SSH um, using Mac Terminal. Um, so one of the first things you should do when you do a Home Assistant installation is set up SSH um, connectivity so that you can log in and make changes if you've locked yourself out of Home Assistant and you can um, fix whatever you need to fix and then like get it up and running again. So you can come across to the HassIO tab and you can simply go to the add-on store if you haven't already and install um, this um, from the official add-ons, the SSH server. So we're coming to the SSH server here and we can scroll um, down and we can set a key so we can log in using an authorized key. So I'll just delete this one that we've got here and that's where the key will go. So to make a key we'll come across the terminal and um, we're going to have a look at our, where the keys are normally kept. So we'll just list out that file on and see what keys we have there already. So I've got two keys there already for different servers, but we're just going to create some new, a new key with just the standard names. So we'll change to that directory. And we'll use um, SSH key gen. And that will generate new keys for us. So we can call them whatever we like, but we're going to use the standard name just so you just hit enter. We can enter a passphrase, so that means we have to enter a password and every time we log in along with the key, um, I'm not going to use a passphrase. So I'll just hit enter for no passphrase. The, uh, that, so that key's been generated. So we'll have a look in our file now and we can see those two keys, the public and the private key just here and here. So to copy it, we're going to copy the public key to our clipboard with PB copy and we'll get that public key and then head across to SIO and just paste it in there so we'll save that and then we'll come up here and restart SSH server and make sure it's on the start on boot. Then we come back to terminal and we can log into our SSH server like so SSH and if you want to change a port the standard port is 22 but if you've set your port to something else you would have to enter the port but because it's the standard port you don't actually need to enter that argument each and every time. Because it's the first time, it's asking to make it a known server. So we'll just type in yes. So now we've logged in, we can use command line tools to access our system. We can have a look around our system. Um, go into the files. We can see our backups just in there. And we can download or upload files into there. We can restart Home Assistant. If we come across to here, we can have a look at the Home Assistant website and we can use all these commands here to do rebuilds, to start and stop, to update Home Assistant from the command line. And we can also um, create snapshots and upload snapshots and restore snapshots. So we can do all these things if we get locked out of the user interface. So we'll come back over to here. If we want to upload files, we'll exit from here. Um, it's very similar. You do use ST SFTP and we can just type in the name of our server the user root at 192 or wherever the IP address of where your home assistant lives on your network um, first of all we need to set our home directory to upload and download files from so we'll set it to our home directory on our Mac you can set it to anything you like we'll head over to um, our backups folder and we can put if we want to upload a file Just for example's sake and that uploads a file now if we wanted to download a file we use get and we can oh, get new key text and that will download the file 
So that's how to upload and download files. So we'll exit from there. Now finally, if you don't want to have to type in the IP address each and every time, we can set up a config file. So we'll use nano and we'll set up a file named config in our SSH directory on our Mac. So we simply need to um, have our nickname for our setup. So we can call it hasso and the address of our where our home assistant is located, which is our IP address. Now, if you had access to the outside world, you could put a public IP address in there, and then you could access, if you had your laptop, you can access your home assistant from anywhere um, if you wanted to. You probably don't need to, but um, it does work from anywhere if you, have, if you had a public IP address. So the user is um, root. Of course, you'd have to port forward um, your SSH through your router and all that as well. But we're just um, looking at accessing our home system from our local network. And we'll just write that to file with Control O, O, Enter, and Control X to quit. And now if we SSH, we just have to type in our nickname. And that logs us into a command line. If this was helpful to you, please give us a, a like. If you want to see more videos how to set up Home Assistant, how to install smart home gadgets and tech and um, general projects, um, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.